Here are the top game settings you should use in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 to get super smooth gameplay with high FPS on your screen and minimal input. First things first, open up the Epic Games Launcher. In the top right corner, click on Settings. Scroll down until you find Desktop Notifications. Turn off Show Free Games and Show News and Special Offers because they can sometimes cause FPS stutters when they pop up. Once you've done that, scroll down a bit more and launch Fortnite. You can also open up the additional command line box and input three different commands if you want, although some say they don't make a difference at this season. But hey, it doesn't hurt to give them a shot. Alright, next step is to head to your library in the Epic Games Launcher and find Fortnite. Click on it, then go into the options. Here, you'll want to uncheck high-res textures for a small FPS boost. Also, uncheck DirectX 12 shaders because we're using performance mode. I suggest using pre-downloaded stream assets. It helps a lot with loading. Now, go into Epic Games Launcher folder on Windows, find the engine file, and paste in the command that I'll have it in the description. This speeds up your downloads on the launcher, so updates come in way faster. Oh, one more thing in the launcher, I always verify the files to make sure everything's good for the new chapter. After that, open up Fortnite, it won't take long, and once it's done, you're good to go. Before we fire up the game, let's reset our config. On your desktop, press in the Windows key and R at the same time. Then type in percent local app data percent and hit enter. Scroll down until you find the Fortnite game folder. Now, we're going to reset this folder. Essentially, we're going to delete it. If you're a bit nervous about that, you can make a backup, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it straight away. Just press the delete button and it's gone. The reason for this is it clears out all the old, outdated files and replaces them with fresh ones. After launching the game, it might ask if you want to find the best settings. Click Decline. When you enter the game, if you check your settings, you'll notice that by default, it's reset all your video settings. Things like sensitivity and keybinds remain unchanged, so no need to worry about those. If you've configured all these settings to be the best ones as shown in the video, here's a quick rundown. Turn on performance mode for lower graphics, which removes grass and boosts FPS. Brightness and colorblind settings are up to personal preference. For graphics quality, set everything to low or off. Keep 3D resolution at 100%. Turn off shadows, ambient occlusion, and reflections. Set view distance to medium or higher for better visibility of in-game items. Turn off textures and effects. Disable post-processing and hardware ray tracing. Under advanced graphics, there's NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, which requires an NVIDIA GPU. If you have a low-end PC, keep it off. For a mid-end PC, try turning it on. And if you've got a top-tier PC, you'll likely benefit from having it on plus boost. Once you've optimized all these settings, simply close down the game and we can now go back into local app data. If you scroll down to the Fortnite game folder, you'll notice it's reappeared with fresh settings. Go inside it, then navigate to Save, Config, Windows Client. Here, you'll find your fresh game user settings config file. Scroll down until you reach the global illumination quality settings. Set all of these to zero instead of one. Another thing worth doing is disabling energy saving modes as they might give you a slight FPS boost. Change both of these settings to false. Scroll further down and you'll find scalability groups. For resolution quality, I recommend keeping it at 100 for the best quality. Some people lower this value slightly for more FPS but it's up to you. View distance should be set to a higher value for better visibility. For the settings below, set them all to zero. Turn off shading quality, foliage quality, and landscape quality. These changes should help increase your FPS. Don't forget to click File and then Save after making these adjustments. Next, you'll want to open up the command prompt but make sure to run it as an administrator. Inside, paste in a command that I'll provide in the description. This command checks your entire PC for any incorrect, changed, or corrupt Windows files. If any issues pop up, you can then paste in another command I'll provide. This command will find and replace any missing or incorrect Windows files. But if no corruption is detected, there's no need to run that second command. It's just an example. Oh, one more thing. After running those checks, paste in yet another command. It'll quickly scan to make sure all the issues were fixed. This ensures everything is good to go. Next, open up Discord and head into the settings. You'll find this at the bottom left. Scroll down to the advanced settings. In there, you'll see a setting called Hardware Acceleration. This feature uses your GPU to make Discord run smoother, but it can sometimes affect your FPS, especially if you're running Discord and Fortnite simultaneously. If you have a high-end PC, you might not notice any difference, and the same might go for a medium-end PC. But if you're on a low-end PC and running both Discord and Fortnite, turning this off could give you a significant FPS boost. Similarly, if you often have Google open while playing Fortnite, like watching YouTube or doing other stuff, you can do something similar. 
In Google, go to the settings at the top right, then navigate to the system settings on the left hand side. There, you'll find another hardware acceleration button. Turning this off can also help with FPS, especially on lower end PCs.